अरे तुम लोग क्या लिटा दोगे उन लोगों को थोड़ा कैमरा ऊपर कर दो बेचारे उससे नीचे क्या जाएगा वो Okay, thank you very much. Ladies and gents, thank you so much for coming out on a Saturday evening. I know you're all very, very busy uh, working the weekend and there's so much that you could be doing, but you've very kindly agreed to attend our press conference. And for that, we thank you uh, on behalf of all the children of Food for Life Vrindavan and our projects. I'll explain a little bit about that. Uh, first of all, the thanks go to you, uh, ladies and gents from the press for covering our event. And of course, the thanks goes to everyone who flew in from London yesterday to actually do the event. Um, and thirdly, the thanks go to the people here up the front who are going to feel some of your questions, which uh, I hope we'll keep to point about the charity and about the wonderful work that Vivek Bhaiya is doing with us and, <laughs> and uh, the future as well, how we take this forward and helping the children who come from some of the poorest communities not just in India, but I would say in the world, if, the, if you have seen the level of poverty. Yeah. So um, my name is Robin J. Ganatra. I'm the UK uh, chairperson and director trustee of Food for Life Vrindavan. I'm a volunteer of the charity. I've been working uh, as a volunteer for about eight years and helping a very wonderful gentleman who you'll see on the left of Vivek Bhaya. His name is Rupa Raghunath Das. He's... He's an Italian, Italian gentleman who spent the best part of 30 years here in India. He, wa he was Italian, now he's Indian. Now he's Indian. <laughs> now he's Indian. Indian soul, Italian nationality. Absolutely. Um, so we'll get to speak to Rupa Bhaya as well. Um, but first of all, a little explanation of, as to what we're doing and why I'm wearing a khaki shirt which says FFLV Challenge. This is representative of the rickshaw drivers of Mumbai and the whole of India. And what we wanted to do is to, to do a challenge which would take a bunch of reasonably well-to-do people who don't have poverty in England, but who want to give something back to society. Uh, they bought into the project, they bought into what we're doing, and collectively we decided that we would want to come to India and raise some money around the world so that we can educate some girls, as many as possible, quite honestly. And this was sparked from a conversation that we had many years ago when Vivek Bhaiya started this wonderful project called Devi, which is the Development, education, uh, development and Education of Vrindavan Girls Empowerment. Initiative. Empowerment, sorry. Development and Empowerment of Vrindavan Girls Initiative. It's a wonderful, wonderful project. And the, the website is devi.com, I believe. <laughs> www. Um, and so we've decided that what we're going to do is something very challenging. A few years ago, we climbed the Himalaya Ladakh region, Stock Kangri Mountain. Kilimanjaro. A few years before that was Kilimanjaro. A few years before that was the Three Peaks Challenge. And that's what come, brings me to the gentleman on the end, whose name is Ravenel Chambers. He's a Royal Television Society Award winner in the UK, a filmmaker who's joining us on this journey. And he'll talk to you a little bit about it. So we're going to be driving three <laughs> double these things are. Uh, but we're learning to drive those rickshaws right now, today and tomorrow. And we're going to drive them 1,800 kilometers from Mumbai to the very southernmost tip of India, which is Kanyakumari. Woo! Thank you. So, a big round of applause, actually, to the ladies and gents who have agreed to do that. So that's enough about me. The, the charity is based in Vrindavan. We educate and empower the poorest of the poor, predominantly girls. The reason we ed educate the girls... <laughs> 
is because in such rural societies, the boy is seen as the asset and the girl is seen as the liability. So we're working our utmost to change that, um, how do you say that, unjust, injustice. Bilkul. Bilkul, right? Yes. Injustice of the boy being the asset and the girl being the liability. So we want to balance that culture and balance the world so that the girls have just as much rights and freedom uh, uh, to, to get the education as the boys. In Bollywood media, there is a good balance. Because there are many girls that are represented. Hai. You see the girl power right here. Yes. <laughs> Lots of female uh, journalists here. Absolutely. <coughs> so that's, it. that's about enough from me. I'm going to introduce you to a few people and uh, they'll tell you a little bit about why they're doing uh, this project. I'm going to start at the very end with a gentleman uh, who's wearing the hat. He's an award-winning hairdresser from the UK. He worked for a company called Hair on Broadway, uh, quite a few different companies. He has his own business now. And in fact, that business has been picked up by a, a television company in Spain, and they're going to be doing a reality TV show. So this is a man of the future, actually. He was just featured. Yeah, thank you. He was just featured on CNN, Christine Armanpour. Uh, which is one of the most popular news uh, anchors and uh, programs around the world, uh, where he joined. He's a gentleman of Muslim origin, and he joined with his Jewish brothers, and they go on the streets of London to give hope and empowerment to the homeless people of London by giving them a haircut. That's and great. That's really great. Commendable. And the haircuts would normally cost hundreds of pounds, <laughs> but he's doing that all about what he's doing, why he's doing it. Good evening, everybody. Thank you for coming. Uh, it means a lot for me because I come from a different country, different background, and I always loved India, to go to India, but I've never been here before, and it's an amazing, amazing experience to help the kids, the ladies, and hopefully to give a haircut to everybody, <laughs> to make everybody happy. <laughs> Thank you very much. I like that. <laughs> So Thank everywhere on the break, you put yeah, park the rickshaw on the side and start giving people haircuts. Start, start you start with me. Thank you very Thank much, you. David. And to the right of David is Balvit Qureshi. Please uh, put your hands together for Balvit. Thank you. So many big charities get a lot of awareness, but this charity doesn't, so it's good. It's good to get the, get create the awareness for Food for Life Rindavan and so good to actually empower girls and women. Um, without women, life wouldn't exist. You do need women, so it's so good to actually do this for women and give them the education that they need and simple tools to make a big difference um, in their lives, which also makes a big difference for their families as well. So. Thank you very much. Need the mic back. Thank you. And as I mentioned earlier, to the right of me is a gentleman by the name of Ravenol Chambers. He's of Irish heritage, but he spent 10 years in India and around the world as a monk, uh, as a Hindu monk studying the Vedas and the Upanishads. Um, and he's now, like I say, an award-winning filmmaker. His company is known as Be Inspired Film, and he just recently won a Royal Television Society Award in the UK. So a fantastic achievement. Please put your hands together for Mr. Ravenol Chambers. Here, okay, guys. Um, when I signed up for this, I, I did it just of my own accord. I thought I, I wanted, needed, needed some adventure in my life, and I thought that looks really exciting. I'm going to do it. Um, and then I actually thought, uh, let me bring some of my team along, and we'll shoot a documentary. So we're actually making a film. I reckon it can have a huge impact. However, I think on the ground, uh, it's a bit more complex today, and what are the different viewpoints and so on. We also have some projects we're going to see tomorrow in Mumbai. Um, we're going to speak to some academics. What's really exciting is we've uh, connected with people on Facebook. We're going to come and chat to us uh, about what they think about this issue. So it's quite exciting, uh, and we're really happy to be part of it. I'm happy to have my team here as well, uh, Pramal and Bart, and we're just really happy to be part of it. Thank you. Thank you very much. And now I'm always happy to have glamour to the right of me. Uh, and this young lady is... Uh, not just a glamorous young lady, but she's a very talented actor, uh, recently arrived in Mumbai and has started to rock the entertainment world. She's a, a working actor here in this country and um, starting to make some real waves. You've just finished a film with Amir Khan. Am I right in thinking that? Yes, there you are. Very shy. Don't be shy. <laughs> so please put your hands together for Miss Arti Ketarpal. Hi, I welcome all of you here and I'm uh, very happy that all of you are part of it. To start with my basic introduction, 
uh, Vivek Bhaiya has seen me as a kid. So uh, my father uh, produced a movie called Shirdi Sai Baba in which uh, mm. Suresh uncle was uh, Suresh sir uncle was a part of it. So I've known uh, Bhaiya when the both of us were not in the field. Yes. And I so so it our association goes really long. But after the movie was uh, launched, released, every uh, everything. So I my my basic introduction. I am born in Delhi, bred in Vrindavan, and now in Bombay. So before when I was in Delhi. Then obviously we were uh, Vivek Bhai and every, everybody were very close. But ever since we went to Vrindavan, then my mom was uh, serving as the academic director in Rupa Prabhu School. So that is how I got uh, connected to the cause, and I got my upbringing. And I was raised in Vrindavan for eight years, and I went back to Delhi for university, and then now here I am in Bombay. So life is a full circle, but it's very interesting to see that the cause. Uh, people are associated with in all the and um, throughout the world, including Delhi, Bombay, Vrindavan, and all over the world, London, for that matter. It takes a village to uh, bring up a girl, and I'm glad that all of us here are agreeing to that fact and contributing to that particular thing. Because one, it is true that people are, people look down upon girl child, but it also takes a village to bring up a girl child. Prabhu school with the girls of Islam who are. Uh, who were raised in his school, and if you go, who, are, who don't even know the value of money, they they're living in they're living in mud houses, and you've seen. I mean, obviously, he knows the reality, and I think the reason why people like Vivek Bhaiya are in it is because the the cause in itself has a lot of potential, and it is it is delivering. You'll see the difference. You'll see a girl from the slum speaking as good English as you and I are speaking, mm -hmm. or maybe better. And the exposure that we are getting in a place like Vrindavan, first I, I hope everybody knows where Vrindavan is. It is a small town in Mathura and UP. So uh, apart from the spirit, is one major reason why I am so excited. I have a, I just got a corn operated, so you could see me limping. But that's I think that just adds to the whole excitement and adventure. Yes, the rickshaw ride. Oh my God, will be quite a journey. But I'm glad by 17th of September. I mean October, November. November. Everybody. Going to be as charged as, as charged as we are, and you'll see us to its smiling place faces. <laughs> you'll be glad to see how we culminate this journey. Well done. Proud Thank you very you. much, Arti. Proud of you. So, uh, the next gentleman I'd like to introduce uh, is the founder of the real hero. The real hero. Well, actually, <laughs> we have one hero. hero here, of course, and this is why. You've all turned up, I know, uh, which is very kind of you, but I want you to meet a real hero, a hero of mine, a hero of Vivek Payaz. Pretty much everyone who signed up to this event has done it because of one man. Um, and the man has set an amazing example of how service to mankind is true service to God. You have to serve humanity before you can serve God. So please, ladies and gentlemen, welcome uh, to the table the founder of Food for Life Vrindavan, Mr. Rupa Raghunath. I should say... Shriman Rupa Raghunath <laughs> Das. <laughs> Rupa Bhaiya. Rupa Bhaiya. Vivek Bhaiya. The first time Vivek came to Vrindavan, uh, a name was scorned for him. He was Vivek Bhaiya. Yeah. For all the girls, he's the Bhaiya. <laughs> Wonderful Bhaiya. And uh, quite a few years have gone by. Vivek was there for his. Uh, 33rd birthday? Yeah. 33rd birthday. Yeah. Quite a few years gone by and a lot of things that happened in the school. Uh, a lot of girls started graduating, yeah. uh, finishing 12th grade and going on to college and university. Yeah. And the more I get tired, the more I should think of our girls in Vrindavan and what they are going through, how their life is. Why you're here? I don't want to see you. Why don't you die? Get out of my way. Another girl, get out. That's what they get from their family. Yeah. I don't want to see you. Get out. So, you know, riding a rickshaw is nothing compared to what those girls are riding in life. And uh, what we are doing, like this event, can take a whole bunch of those girls out of that desperate situation. And that is really... Uh, something that I must say a, a big, big heartfelt thank you to all of you. It's something <laughs> wonderful and it's something that uh, 
Actually, I shouldn't even say thank you because the thank you will come automatically. Thank you very much, uh, Rupa Bhaiya. And now, last but in no means least, <laughs> uh, a gentleman who has wholeheartedly come on board to this project. There's never been a moment where we've asked something of this gentleman and he said no. In fact, even on his holiday in London just two months ago, <laughs> I tracked him down. He was he, hiding. He was hiding because there's a lot of press interest in London as well for Bollywood stars and actors. And he had to hide and we found him. <laughs> and we told him this is what we're doing. And um, so he's arranged this press conference through his PR agency. So thank you to them for arranging you guys to come today. But um, the dedication, uh, the, the amazing humility with which he helps us. Uh, there's no, never a moment where we feel we have to play status games. It's absolutely straight down to the point. It's business. Let's, what can I do? What can I do to help you? That's always what you say to us. <laughs> Not what can I get from this. It's what can I do to help you? And that's heartfelt. So on behalf of the entire Food for Life family in India and in the UK, uh, a very big thank you for turning up today. You've just flown in from Delhi. <laughs> I know you're a very busy man. So please, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Vivek Paya. Thank you, Ravan. Thank you so much. Um, never too busy for my family. Uh, food for life, Vrindavan. Vrindavan ke sari bachiyan. Jinko mene apne samne aankho samne jaise inko bada hote hue dekha hai. Waise unko bhi kuch ko to god khila hai. Aur ab badi 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 मतलब लड़कियां बन गई हैं, they become young ladies and uh, over the last eight nine years it's been an incredibly fulfilling and rewarding experience मैं अक्सर कहता हूँ लोगों को कि ठीक है भगवान की दया से मैंने बहुत सारे अवार्ड जीते हैं लेकिन वो सारे अवार्ड एक शेल्फ पे होते हैं मैं खुद ही नहीं देखता उनको भूल जाता ना आदमी एक बार अवार्ड मिल गया आपने शेल्फ पे डाल दिया बंदा आता है उसको डस्ट वस्ट करता है और छोड़ देता है but when I go to Vrindavan and I see my bachas, when I see my little sisters, when I see them growing, when I see them blossoming into these incredibly confident young ladies who are going to conquer the world, for me, those are the biggest living awards that I've achieved. You know, that's what I feel that when I measure the sum of my life, I feel that those contributions that I've made are the, the greatest investments I've ever made in my life. Um, it's extremely fulfilling to see because wherever our schools are, it's heartland of rural India. And sometimes it feels like, brother, this is only two hours from Delhi. And how can girls be treated like this? How can you treat women like this? How can you commoditize women in today's India? But it's the truth, it happens. We rescue so many girls from, whether it's child labor, sometimes child prostitution, abused backgrounds, abused family homes. And when we started, child marriage used to be such a norm. It was so common. In fact, I remember a situation which got me so riled up and, you know, I remember him calming me down. But there used to be people who would come and say, Iska humne baat pakki kar diye, shadi ho rahi hai. Bara saal ki bachchi ko humare school se khich ke humare saamne le gai. In today's India. Aur hum nahi kar paai kuch. You know, we have all the laws in the world that are supposed to protect something like this from happening. But we couldn't do anything. Humare aankhon ke saamne le gai. Hum complaint likhwate rahe, hum agitate karte rahe. But then we realized that you have to work with the people and change the mindset. People have to change the mindset. Until people understand the liability of children, until people understand the liability of their son, they will not understand the liability of their son, then it will be done. Neither here nor there. If the sun is gone, then the sun is gone, then the sun is gone, then the sun is gone. This system is a very important thing to change the system. Because this is one of the root causes of social evil and doesn't allow women to get empowered. तो हम कर रहे हैं अपनी तरफ से अभी चौदह गांव में ऐसा हो गया है कि पिछले चार साल पाँच साल में कोई सिंगल रिकॉर्ड नहीं है चाइल्ड मैरिज का नहीं तो बारह साल की बच्ची चालीस साल पैंतालीस साल के बच्चे से मर्द से शादी हो जाती थी अब ये सब बंद हो चुका है लोग समझने लग गए हैं एंड लोग देख भी रहे हैं लोगों को लगता है लड़कियों कहाँ बुद्धि होती है लड़कियाँ कहाँ समझ सकती हैं लड़की कैसे पढ़ाई करेगी जिस प्रांत में जिस एरिया में लड़के कभी कॉलेज और यूनिवर्सिटी नहीं गए हैं जिन गांवों से वहाँ पे हमारे पास अब 40 से ज़्यादा लड़कियाँ कॉलेज और यूनिवर्सिटी में खुद अपने मेरिट पे दाखला ले रही हैं दिस इज समथिंग दैट वी आर एक्सट्रीमली प्राउड ऑफ एंड 
that's why I love this cause so much. I, I'm so connected to it. I, I, it's so close to my heart because it's it's actually transforming lives. So I always say we're creating an army. We're creating an army that's going to change the country from within. We're creating an army of very strong girls who are empowered, who believe. You know, when they come in, they always say, "Acha, pucho unko kya banana chahte ho." So they'll always say, "Teacher banana chahte hain, gariboon ko free padhai karana chahte hain." डॉक्टर बनना चाहते हैं गरीबों का फ्री इलाज करना चाहते हैं दिस इज द नोबिलिटी किसी के आप एक लड़की के मुंह से नहीं सुनोगे मुझे पैसे कमाने दे आर ऑलवेज इंटरनली सो स्ट्रॉन्ग एंड नोबल दे जस्ट नीडेड दैट प्लेटफॉर्म एंड इट्स अमेजिंग टू सी ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ऑफ किड्स हु यू नो लिटरली बिन ऑन द स्ट्रीट्स एंड यू सी दम ईयर लेटर आफ्टर देव कम इन टू आर स्कूल दे फिजिकली ट्रांसफॉर्म बिकॉज वी ऑल्सो फीड दैम हम पढ़ाई लिखाई खाना पीना पालन पोषण हेल्थ केयर कपड़े पैर के जूते से लेके सर के तेल तक यू नो वी टेक केयर ऑफ देम विद ऑल आर हार्ट एंड वी गिव देम एवरीथिंग दैट वी कैन विद इन क्वालिटी तो उसकी वजह से यू जस्ट सी देम ट्रांसफॉर्म भूरे भूरे बाल होते हैं मेल नरिश चिल्ड्रन के दे जस्ट कम्प्लीटली ट्रांसफॉर्म आई विश वी हैड पिक्चर्स आई विश वी हैड एन ऑडियो विजुअल प्रेजेंटेशन टू शो यू एक्चुअल केसेज ओवर द ईयर्स ऑफ सो मेनी गर्ल्स हंड्रेड्स एंड हंड्रेड्स एंड हंड्रेड्स ऑफ केसेज नाउ इन द थाउजेंड्स दैट वी मैनेज टू ट्रांसफॉर्म कम्प्लीटली Uh, so it's not just a physical transformation but also a mental one kyunki bahut sari bachiyan hain jinhe jaise child prostitution mein becha ho unhe samajh bhi nahi aaya ki mere sath kya hua hai kyun hua hai um, they've been physically abused by men twice their age twice their size and to to get out of that damage the kind of i mean we don't have the infrastructure of having you know the best child psychologists so the best uh, psychiatrists in the world but we what we do has what we do have is Absolutely unconditional love. और जब हम उन बच्चों को प्यार देते हैं हम उनको इज्जत देते हैं उनकी रिस्पेक्ट करते हैं इसीलिए मैंने नाम देवी भी रखा था We came up with the name Devi for that to give them that that sense of respect about themselves. You see the transformation. You see the healing. You see them. You know, we were talking about you being a brown belt. Every time I go to Vrindavan, they all come out there and they perform. And I shouldn't say this, but those girls are thrashing all the boys. Oh, they are. <laughs> Absolutely. they're winning medals at the state level they're winning medals and hopefully very soon at the national level and i'm pretty confident they'll represent india in terms of martial arts pretty soon gymnastics pretty soon um hum jitna kar sakte hain we don't do it like a, a if you see a government school and the facilities there versus what we provide what we provide people think yaar tum itne kam mein kaise chala lete ho and that's only because of that degree of commitment हम चाहते हैं जितने लोग यहाँ बैठे हैं सब वॉल्टियर्स हैं ये जो इतने सबको इंट्रोड्यूस कर रहा है लेकिन खुद के बारे में कुछ नहीं बता रहा है इज़ अ वेरी सक्सेसफुल एक्टर इज़ अ वेरी वेल नोन पर्सनालिटी इन इन यूके एंड अमंग द ब्रिटिश एशियन स्टार्स इज अप देर बट ही सो कमिटेड एंड इज हंड्रेड परसेंट वॉल्टियर ही गिव सो मच ऑफ इज टाइम फॉर दिस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो आई थिंक दैट्स वॉट मेक्स द मैजिक हैपन पीपल कम फॉरवर्ड इन से लेट्स मेक अ डिफरेंस एंड देन यू मेजर दैट डिफरेंस इन द क्वालिटी ऑफ लाइफ You measure that difference in each success story. Each girl is a success story. हमारे पास आजकल ऐसे होता है कि आज भी इस देश में जो हम 25 साल 30 साल पुरानी पिक्चरों में देखते थे कि बेटी हुई तो उसको कूड़े के डब्बे में फेंक दिया आज भी वृंदावन में कभी कभी हमारे साथ ऐसे केस होते हैं कि कूड़े के डिब्बे में जहाँ पे कुत्ते वगैरह आते हैं कौए आते हैं खाना खाने के लिए यंग न्यू बॉर्न बेबी को गर्ल चाइल्ड को फेंक दिया जाता है and you know what the first thing people do even if they're from the administration they pick them up and they bring them to us because you know yahan theek rahegi hum bhale hi iski theek theek se dekhbhal kar paaye ki nahi kar paaye yahan theek rahegi that's what we have earned that's the love and respect that we have earned locally also so yeah this is great uh, coming to the fun part uh, we do something like this every year to raise money for the project which empowers the girls through education and i think when you educate a girl you educate a whole family right you educate the whole nation so we're building a greater and a better india and a better world a more responsible world um an equitable world and um it's such a fun way to do it these crazy people out here are going to ride a rickshaw from mumbai to kanyakumari i don't know how hum agar mujhe koi bole ki aap rickshaw mein sirf piche baitho mumbai se kanyakumari tak main kahunga yaar rehne do i'm sorry but no um i honestly i'm actually very jealous of all these people because i feel that every time they do all these cool things and every time i plan ki is baar to main karunga i'm going to go with these guys i'm going to do this trip you know especially kilimanjaro i was so excited about climbing kilimanjaro but every time it's either shooting or some other work uh, 
a whole bunch of responsibilities, so I miss out on it. So I'm going to let these guys go have the fun. But on Monday morning at 7.30, right outside here, outside Sun and Sun. 8.30, sorry. 8.30. 8.30. You want to sleep an extra hour. At Monday morning at 8.30, we're going to launch this. We're going to flag off the the ride from Mumbai to Kanyakumari. I'm going to attempt getting in the front of the rickshaw and trying to ride it a little bit. And I'm hoping that I won't topple it to the left or the right because it's very difficult to balance. And I'm shocked that, you know, you've been training just one day and... And you're confident enough to ride, okay? Best one, of luck. One hour, actually. So far, it was one hour. One training. hour, yeah. yeah. So uh, my only prayer is they, they go safely and they reach safely <laughs> in a rickshaw from Mumbai to Kanyakumari. But it's really cool to see they're doing this because when they're doing this, every time they do one of these kind of events, every time they do a challenge like this, uh, people from all over the world, they come and back the challenge and they raise money. So each one of these people, there are 15 of them that are riding, each one that's riding is backed by many, many people who are supporting it and saying, look, you're doing this, I'm going to put, you know, 100 pounds behind you or 200 pounds behind you or 1,000 pounds behind you. And that kind of just keeps building up the corpus and that money is used for us to be able to educate and take care of these girls. And we do it at an unbelievable price. We do it at 18 to 20,000 rupees a year. And that includes everything. I'm talking about computers, karate classes, gymnastics, uh, Odissi uh, dancing, classical music, a full education, clothes, food, nutrition, healthcare, all of it. And I don't think anybody know. else is doing it at that price, and we are, because we're really, really dedicated and committed f to this cause. So, yeah. So, all those people who are watching this uh, in every corner of India and every part of the world, please get in touch and... Um, Contribute, come forward and help us uh, make this incredible army of girls that are going to change the world. Thank you. I, I just have one question before we open up uh, to everyone. One question for Vivek Bhai. Uh, your, your time is so busy. I mean, I've seen it personally. <laughs> and I'm sure you must get requests from so many charities to help them with, with them. Why us? Because of this guy. Because um, most charities that I see, I see that... Uh, some of them have passion, some of them have commitment, some of them have an infrastructure, an organization. But Hamesha, what I look for is the administrative and miscellaneous costs when I see their paperwork. And that's always in the high 30s or, you know, 20s up there. So that means that every rupee that you, or every 100 rupees that you donate to that charity, 30 or 40 or sometimes 50 in some of the international charities, 60 or 70 <laughs> rupees out of that goes towards salaries and administrative costs. And basically you're paying for some dude who heads an organization and drives around in a Mercedes Benz, so you're paying for his diesel and you're paying for his car and his EMI rather than paying for the cause. And what I love about this organization is that that figure is almost nothing, is negligible. It's 6.6%. Um, it's 6.6%. How do you run an organization in 6.6% of everything that you raise? So that means 74% of everything that, no, 94% of everything that you raise 94% of everything that you raise goes to actually the cause, to actually educate those girls, to actually feed them good quality food. Um, and that's why we're so open. We don't hide. We say, we to see what we're doing, collaborate, you know, become a part of us. Um, so many of you are young journalists here. Um, when the Didis who do different um, uh, you know, professions, when they come to our school and they just do an interaction, ek din ka interaction ki, Didi, aap kya karte hain? Hum ye karte hain. You know, it's so funny, jab, I was asking first, everyone said, teacher, banna hai, uh, doctor, banna hai. kya banna hai, beta, bade, okay, doctor, banna hai, Achha. then one day I took Sushmita with me, Sushmita Sen. Sush Didi, Sush Didi, Sush Didi, pura hangama ho gaya maa pe. And Sush is also so loving, she came and she spent actually two days with us in the school and interacted with all the kids. Um, uske kuch din baad, I asked them, bache kya banna hai? So I had five or six of them telling me, bhaiya Miss Universe banna hai. <laughs> so it's the kind of impact. Unke man mein abhi ye baat hi nahi aai hai ki hum ye kar sakte hai. So the minute you expose them to say, achha, ladkiyan bhi journalist ban sakti hai, achha, ladkiyan bhi ye kar sakti hai, ladki pilot ban sakti hai they start to imagine ki, is this is possible. So even if you come and spend some time with them, you give them a dream. And that's my only submission. You know, don't give them money. Give them a dream, give them hope. Give them love. Thank you very much, Vivek Bhaiya. Um, I, I just want to follow up on what 
uh, Bhaira was saying, uh, th this nation was one of the first nations in the entire world, one of the first democracies to have a female prime minister. Yes, absolutely. And we followed not far after you with Mrs. Thatcher. Right. We now have Mrs. May. And I look forward to the day when, uh, as Vivek was saying, these ladies, these girls will become ladies. They will become part of society. And I know we've talked about this before. Yeah. And it will happen, I hope, in our lifetime. But one of these days, one of our children will become the prime minister of this great nation. Yeah, I and hope that so. will be a great testament. Uh, so please send your blessings to these children. Um, and Vivek Pai also talked about uh, the danger involved and sending prayers. So we look for your prayers and the prayers of this nation for our safekeeping. So uh, thank you very much. I'm going to open the floor up to questions now to anybody here on the panel. You have the I have the first hand here, and then I'll come back to you, sir. Yes. Yeah, I don't think I'm a brand ambassador before, so I think that I'm a part of this family. And as they say, the power of the family, whatever it can happen to me, whether it's less money, the pressure is that this year there are no fees for 100 children. So we get to call the phone, or we take out our checkbook, we take out one of them. So there's no pressure for this kind of pressure. If you're doing something that you genuinely love, if you feel connected to what you're doing, if you feel like a part of it, there's no pressure in it. I mean, then you, you kind of enjoy it. Um, the pressure is that I'm worried about these guys. <laughs> I'm worried that we'll go to Mumbai, Kanya Kumari, and we'll get to the right place. Because rickshaws are notoriously unstable. So I'm a little worried about them. Aside from that, there's no pressure at all. I hope you're taking an ambulance and doctor. <laughs> <laughs> we have some... Uh, so there was a gentleman here, please. Sure. Only the schools we have. We have three schools there, and we're hoping to build a fourth in Govardhanji, where the Govardhan Parvat is. So we're planning to build a fourth one. So this is basically just to educate. See, what happens is a lot of people come in for an annual donation. That this year, I take the whole education of this child. Some people come in and say, every year, till this girl goes to the 12th grade, till she goes through our high school or goes to college or even to university, I'll back her. But most people don't do that. Most people say, chalo, is saal mein ye karne wala hon. So what happens is that those kids, we know ki agle saal kaun karega. To uske liye hum corpus raise karte rehte hain. Only for you, just on that area. Ha, ha, hamare schools ke liye, hamari bachiyon ke liye. It's only focus for that. Hum itne bade organization nahi hain. Dhai azar bachiyon hain hamare paas, usse aada nahi hain. To we're relatively small. On your society, you are doing this much. Ji, ji. Yes, ma'am. Well, first of all, thank you for, but actually, uh, I, I'm just joining the group. The group is already doing this wonderful challenge. I decided to... Ten years in Hindustan, he was a sadhu, a baba, and he did the whole brahmacharya ka palan. Kiya. Ten years, he was a brahmachari in India. Ravano, he's a cool character. He's probably one of those guys I can make a biopic on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> up, up Kilimanjaro Mountain. Listen, you're right, you're right. before anybody else gets to you, yeah. man, you know, I'm, I'm going to have to paint my face yeah. white, but... <laughs> So, um, so yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's has, has anybody here been, been to Vrindavan? Put your hand up if you've been to Vrindavan. Oh, yeah. So there one or two? Okay. So yeah, really. Apni team doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really magical place. It's, um, it's a special place like uh, you were saying. It's, it's, it has 5,000 temples, right? More than 5,000 temples in a very small place. So um, the, my, my film has got three levels to it. There's one like a road movie, so it's going to be an incredible <laughs> journey, like you say, it's true. We did some practice today, um, and I, in all honesty, we drove about two kilometers, and I've already got blisters. Hat me chale pad gaye, do kilometers chala ke, 1800 kaise karenge pata nahi. So uh, it is going to be an incredible journey. Gloves, gloves, biking gloves. Yeah, yes. yeah. So the visual side of it is going to be incredible. 
Then there's the, the, the issue around educating girls. It's such an incredibly interesting thing, and I'm so looking forward to hearing what people have to say. But there's also my own personal journey. This is why I kind of wanted to do it. I'm going back to Vrindavan after 20 years. So for me, I spent, like they say, 10 years as a monk. Then I've spent <coughs> 20 years since then being a businessman, having a family, so many things. And so in a way, it's a little bit like you were saying. Come क्या होता ना यार हाँ बात सही है आपकी बट एक समय होता है एक पीरियड होता है जैसे अगर आप शुरुआत करें तो लोगों को लगता है अच्छा अब ये पब्लिसिटी के लिए कर रहा है इसकी कोई पिक्चर आ रही होगी प्रमोशन करने के लिए ये कर रहे हैं बट जब आप करते रहते हो वेन इट बिकम्स अ पार्ट ऑफ योर लाइफ वेन इट बिकम्स अ पार्ट ऑफ योर एवरी डे रूटीन वेन इट बिकम्स अ होल इम्पॉर्टेंट पिलर ऑफ योर लाइफ तब लोगों को भी समझ में आ जाता है हिंदुस्तान में विदेश में आई मीन आई हैव बीन वेरी फॉर्चुनेट लाइक दैट आई मीन वेदर इट वाज गेटिंग कवर्ड इन गेटिंग लॉट ऑफ अप्रिसिएशन फ्रॉम न्यूयॉर्क टाइम्स फॉर माय वर्क इन इंडिया और वेदर इट वाज फोर्ब्स कैरिंग मी एज अ टॉप फोर्टी फिल एंथ्रोपिस अंडर फोर्टी फॉर द वर्क आई हैव डन और वेदर इट जस्ट द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया रिकग्नाइजिंग द वर्क दैट आई हैव डन डिफरेंट स्टेट्स रिकग्नाइजिंग द वर्क दैट आई हैव डन आई डोंट लाइक टू पब्लिसाइज माई अचीवमेंट्स और वॉट आई विन एज एन अवार्ड I prefer publicizing the cause because that's where the attention needs to go. And earlier I used to not even speak about it. I mean, यहाँ मैं पिछले almost दस साल से जुड़ा हूँ. आज मैं बाहर आके इसके बारे में बात कर रहा हूँ. अगर मुझे सिर्फ publicity चाहिए होती तो दस साल से मैं डंका बजा रहा होता. So I'm now publicizing the cause because I want. मुझे लगता है मेरी मेरा ऐसा विश्वास है कि इस आपके माध्यम से आपके जरिए कुछ लोग पढ़ेंगे. हज़ार पढ़ेंगे उसमें से सौ लोग इंटरेस्टेड रहेंगे सौ जो इंटरेस्टेड रहेंगे उसमें से नब्बे भूल जाएंगे कि ऐसा कुछ हो रहा है लेकिन दस लोग शायद जुड़ जाएं वो दस लोग दस लड़कियों की जिंदगी बदल सकते हैं सो फॉर मी दैट्स व्हाट्स इम्पोर्टेंट क्यों दूसरों की बात करना जिस गाँव जाना नहीं उसका रास्ता क्यों पूछना जी मुझे ऐसा मुझे एक बहुत संतुष्टता मिलती है एक डीप सेटिस्फैक्शन मिलता है जब मैं देखता हूँ और मैं अपने आप को एक छोटा सा माध्यम मानता हूँ आई रियली ट्रूली बिलीव आई एम अ स्मॉल पीस ऑफ द पजल आई एम अ स्मॉल पीस ऑफ द पाई आई जस्ट मेरा कंट्रीब्यूशन उतना बड़ा है ही नहीं जितना मुझे इतनी ये लोग इज्जत देते हैं इतना प्यार देते ये इनका बड़ापन है दीज आर द रियल हीरोज जो दिन रात चौबीस घंटे अपनी जिंदगी वहाँ जी रहे हैं उन बच्चियों को एक एक करके नर्चर कर रहे हैं नरिश कर रहे हैं इसलिए मैं इन लोगों को मानता हूँ जब लोग कहते हैं कि भाई भगवान मंदिर में मिलता है या ऊपर वाला मस्जिद में मिलता है तो मुझे लगता है ऊपर वाला ऐसी जगह बसता है जहाँ पे लोग एक्चुअली अपने ह्यूमंस के लिए कर रहे हैं जहाँ ये गांव गांव जा जा के धूप में वृंदावन की चालीस अड़तालीस डिग्री की धूप होती है वहाँ पर टिन के शेड्स के नीचे छोटी छोटी बच्चियाँ आप सम ऑफ यू आर ओल्डर सो यू मस्ट हैव किड्स और ग्रैंड किड्स कैन यू इमेजिन आज मेरे बच्चे हैं अब मैं सोच भी नहीं सकता कि नंगे पैर उस गर्मी में तपती धूप में तीन के शेड्स के नीचे ये बच्चियां रहती हैं तो हमें एक्चुअली ड्यूरिंग द समर्स हम स्कूल्स अपने समर हॉलीडेज के दौरान भी खुला रखते हैं और पंखे खुले रखते हैं क्योंकि इन बच्चियों को दोपहर की गर्मी में डिहाइड्रेशन हो जाता है तो हम उन्हें स्कूल लेके आते हैं सिर्फ पानी खाना और पंखों के लिए समर हॉलीडेज में भी तो इतनी बुरी हालत है इतनी बुरी दुर्दशा है हम लोग बहुत इंसुलेटेड हैं मुंबई जैसी शहर में रहते हैं लेकिन आप में से कौन लास्ट टाइम किसी स्लम में गया था देखने के लिए स्लम्स में कैसे लोग रहते हैं कौन गया था कोई नहीं हम करते ही नहीं है वो सब मैं गया था जब मैं कंपनी के लिए ऑडिशन की तैयारी कर रहा था और पहली बार मैंने देखा यार मेरे घर से एक घंटे की दूरी पे लोग ऐसा रह रहे हैं ये जिंदगी उनकी ये दुनिया है इट्स 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 इट द डिफ्रेंस इज टू मच बिटवीन द हैव्स एंड हैव नॉट्स वो बदलना बहुत ज़रूरी है वो हमारी जिम्मेदारी है You know that's the biggest thing. I used to visit very often. पिछले कुछ सालों से काफ़ी कम हो गया है और मुझे बाकी कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है जब बच्चियाँ जो छोटी छोटी हैं अभी हाल ही में गया था आई वेंट हम ही टू मंथ्स को थ्री मंथ्स को दो तीन महीने पहले मैं गया था जो बच्चियों ने कंप्लेंट की कि भैया आप हमें भूल गए मुझे इतना बुरा लगा मैं कहा यार मैं कर रहा हूँ आई एम डूइंग फॉर द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एवरी वे बट टू फिजिकली गो देर एंड गिव दैम दैट लव 
एंड दे सो एक्साइटेड वो बताना चाहते हैं आपको पता है मैंने ये किया है और मैंने क्लास में ये किया और कुछ जो छोटे छोटे होते हैं वो तो अपनी ड्राइंग्स लेके आते हैं सब एक एक ड्राइंग दिखाते हैं कि देखो मैंने ये बनाया फिर ये वाली ड्राइंग बनाई दे मेक कार्ड्स फॉर मी एवरी टाइम एंड इट्स जस्ट इट्स इट्स सो मच लव इट्स अमेजिंग इट्स जस्ट दैट अनकंडीशनल प्योर लव आई एम सो हैप्पी एंड आई एम सो प्राउड टू बी पार्ट ऑफ एन इंडस्ट्री हमारी इंडस्ट्री का आज से नहीं कई सालों से ये दस्तूर रहा है कि जब भी कोई देश पर प्रॉब्लम आई है लोगों पर प्रॉब्लम आई है चाहे कोई डिज़ास्टर हुआ हो चाहे कोई संकट हुआ हो इट्स अ वेरी गिविंग इंडस्ट्री लोग खड़े हो जाते हैं बोलते हैं हमको करना है वी वॉन्ट टू कम आउट देर एन हेल्प एंड ठीक है लोग जज भी करते हैं हमारी इंडस्ट्री को आपकी इंडस्ट्री वाले काफ़ी जज भी करते हैं कि यार ये तो सिर्फ पब्लिसिटी के लिए कर रहे हैं लेकिन कर तो रहे हैं You know what I'm saying? कर तो रहे हैं चाहे किसी भी कारण के लिए कर रहे हैं कर तो रहे हैं देश को आज जरूरत है एक की नहीं हजारों की है लाखों विवेक की जरूरत है जो आके काम करें बस लोगों की मदद करें देश को वो जरूरत है तो आई एम वेरी प्राउड ऑफ दिस इंडस्ट्री आई एम प्राउड ऑफ एवरी सिंगल एक्टर नो मैटर हाउ बिग और हाउ स्मॉल एवरी सिंगल पर्सन फ्रॉम माई फ्रटर्निटी एवरी सिंगल सिटीजन ऑफ दिस कंट्री हु डज वन थिंग अ डे ऑल्सो फॉर अ नॉन सेल्फिश निस्वार्थ भावना से अगर वो करता है आई एम वेरी प्राउड ऑफ दैम नहीं करो ऐसी चीजें नहीं करो थैंक यू थैंक यू <laughs> you know when when he, in the beginning he used to always say that i want to build 100 i want to build 200 schools but it's really difficult so i I'm, i'm going to ask rupa bhaiya to answer this for you but what i feel is agar aap ek jagah proof of concept karo ki ye ho sakta hai humne bina kisi sarkari madad ke apne hi taakat laga ke apni shakti laga ke humne ek ऐसा एक साधन क्रिएट किया एक स्कूल क्रिएट किया फिर दूसरा फिर तीसरा अब चौथा बनाने जा रहे हैं और इससे हजारों लड़कियों की पिछले 2001 से जिंदगियां बदल गई वेन पीपल कम इन सी दैट एज अ बेस्ट प्रैक्टिस एंड कैन टेक इट बैक टू वेर एवर दे आर फ्रॉम एंड कॉपी दैट एंड लर्न फ्रॉम वॉट यू नो रूपा भैया इज क्रिएटेड एंड रिफाइंड ओवर द ईयर्स आई थिंक दैट इज सेल्फ एज अ एग्जाम्पल एज अ मिशन इज इज अ ग्रेट आइडिया बट देन वी नीड मोर पीपल वी नीड समी लाइक यू who stands up and says theek hai yaar main aaj bahut inspired hu i am going to go to vrindavan stay there for 3 months learn it come back and do it you know in my native place so we need people like you to come forward and do that but rupa bhai i want you to answer that too yeah well, practically speaking we have create a model which works vrindavan street used to be full of children begging now there are no children begging in the street they are all in the school it it's a system that works it doesn't need uh, you know huge financial support no opinion there with him i <laughs> i i feel that we as citizens have this habit of saying government ko karna chahiye sarkar ko karna chahiye to aap kya kar rahe ho har cheez wo karenge to aap kya kar rahe ho government kiski hai aapki desh kiska hai aapka hai ye italian aadmi ne aake ye jitne hindustani hai yahan pe i am can say including me hum sab se milke zyada kaam is desh ke liye is italian ne kiya hai hum sab ek taraf is italian ke सारी कंट्रीब्यूशन इस देश के लिए बच्चों के लिए एक तरफ हमें या तो शर्मानी चाहिए या तो इंस्पिरेशन मिलना चाहिए कि यार वी नीड टू डू समथिंग मोर इट्स नॉट अबाउट द गवर्नमेंट इट्स नॉट अबाउट दैट ही इज कम ना ही इज डन इट विदाउट एनी गवर्नमेंट ही डिट नो द लैंग्वेज वेन ही केम एक इच्छा थी करना है किया लोग कर सकते हैं मॉडल है ही इन्वाइट्स पीपल ही सेज आओ सीखो हमसे एंड वट एवर यू वॉन्ट टू डू हमसे लर्न करो और आप अपनी खुद इस चीज़ को प्रोपिगेट करो आगे बढ़ाओ इसको यार ये तो गवर्नमेंट को सवाल पूछना पड़ेगा हम गवर्नमेंट से बड़े दूर रहते हैं <laughs> 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 <laughs>
ऐसा मत करो मत करो मत करो क्या होगा जितना मैंने बोला हूं पिछले एक डेढ़ घंटे से वो सब चला जाएगा और इसकी बाइट बनेगी और वो छपे <laughs> Sorry, I had a little bit, but they needed those. I need to give a Hindi English bite. So, ah, chalo. सर राइट में भी सर यहाँ पे सर वेक सर सेंटर में लगा सेंटर में हाँ खाली 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 के सेंटर में बर 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 खाली के सेंटर में हाँ 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 ह आगे डॉक्यूमेंट्री बनाएगा तू तो तीन सौ रिक्शा 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 चलो चलो सर सर यहाँ पे सर यहाँ पे विवेक सर इधर भी सर यहाँ पे सर यहाँ पे सर यहाँ पे सर आराम से संजय हट्टा संजय Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Short film for us as well. Look at this, it's amazing. I love it. The colors are amazing too. Is it Yajan? Yeah, it's not just for me. That's JV1. JV1. That's our one. I love it. That's Rabbit Holes. Is that what you're driving? He's driving that one. It's beautiful, man. Did you go riding it? Why is it here? Tamil Nadu. Oh, really? So, Prince Lee, who's here, that's his company. He's the manager of the company. The company's actually in place in Chennai. So cool, man. Beautiful. Prince Lee's here. Prince Lee's here. Everything here. Oh!
Sanjay? No, no. Must take a doctor. Sir, sir, sir. Do you have hospitals everywhere? Do you have, sir? You can. Must go, sir. Some of these guys might see the hospital. Vivek Kobroy and you're watching SEM TV. Thank you. Namaskar, Salaam, Satsriya Kaal. I'm Vivek Kobroy and you're watching Viral Bollywood. Let's go.